been Prime Minister. Um, yeah. You've only been Prime Minister for eight, seven or eight months now, yeah. but you've been part of the leadership team of the Coalition for many, many years. Many voters that I've spoken to have said that they're still waiting for an apology for the destabilisation over the period of that time. As the current leader, as the current Prime Minister, are you willing to offer an apology for what's happened over the past five or six years? Well, you're right to say that for the last five and a half years, I've served in the Cabinet. I've served as a Minister for Immigration and Border Protection that stopped the boats. I ministered as in social services, as the Minister there, which um, has ensured that we now have the lowest level of welfare dependency of the working age population in generations. As Treasurer, I put in the work to ensure that next year we come back into a position of a surplus for the first time in 12 years. I have been part of a government that has been doing all of those things. I've sat around the National Security Committee of Cabinet for the last five years, the Expenditure Review Committee of Cabinet for a similar period of time. And so I've been in the engine room of ensuring that our economy is stronger, that our borders are secure, that our national security interests have been pursued, that our trade agenda has been followed through on to the point where now 70 per cent of Australia's trade around the world is covered by trade agreements You're and that will go to... No, don't no, no, you've asked me a question I, and I love giving you a full answer. I love giving you a full answer. And so I get to 90 per cent in the next five years of the trade that will be covered. Now, all of that is something I don't make any apologies for, making Australia stronger. I said when I became Prime Minister that the events of last year were not acceptable and we had to change our rules to deal with that. And I changed those rules. So I, I now know that as we go to this election, it is very, very clear that if you vote for the Labor candidate here in Leichhardt, you will get Bill Shorten as your Prime Minister. If you vote for Warren Inch, as my LNP candidate here in Leichhardt, you will get me as your Prime Minister for the next three years. That's the choice. Both parties have now dealt with the problems of the past in our own parties, the Labor Party, the Liberal Party, the rules have been changed. So Australians going to the polls tomorrow know it's your choice. It's all about your future. It's not about the individuals and the personalities that are involved in politics. It's about the young family here that is living their dream, living their aspiration and ensuring that more Australians can do the same. A choice between Bill Shorten as Prime Minister or myself. Um,